All right, guys, this video is going to be a cheeky combination of the high yield topics and the predictions for AQA Chem Paper 2 2025. Let's get into this. Okay, so these are all of the topics that can come up in Paper 2 and have come up in Paper 2. All right, so you've got the marks here, the percentage of marks out of a total, uh, I believe it's 840 across the years. Um, across the eight years, then we have the frequency, when that topic did appear, how many papers did it appear in, and average marks per paper, all right? So the clear winner here, like if we look at this graph over here, this is actually a pretty good representation, rate equations and kinetics. Now I've grouped this as two topics, right? Normally it's just gonna be rate equations on its own, primarily, and then a little bit of the kinetics. I think kinetics over the years for paper two was like five marks, right? but I've grouped it so we can look at paper three and think about the predictions and stuff like that, okay? But if you guys are wondering, is it rate equations or is it kinetics? It's like 99% rate equations, all right? So if you wanna go away and revise, revise rate equations, all right? Then next up, we have amount of substance. So the two highest topics for paper two is actually gonna be physical topics, okay? This one, purely physical. This one is a physical topic with organic application. All right, so they'll give you some organic substances, organic reaction, and there'll be some sort of amount of substance calcs associated with that organic reaction, okay? Then that's where it jumps into the organic side of things, right? Which is where we get carboxylic acids and derivatives, okay? Then from there, moves on to NMR, and then from there, organic synth. Organic synth is a good one, but it's hard to revise, right? Because it's every single organic functional group. So normally what I do with my students is the organic synthesis map, you know, go through all that from scratch, link all the functional groups, um, conditions, reagents, mechanisms, all that stuff, right? That is probably the best way to revise it. But but yeah, try and do the map if you can. Some of my students, they draw it out every day, making note of what they got wrong, what they forgot, and then repeating, or you've got flashcards, you know, you can break it up into individual functional groups, but I think the map is probably one of the best ways to go if you don't get overwhelmed. And then we're back to a physical topic, KC equilibria, okay? And then, you know, you can see a clear winner over here and then it's a pretty linear decrease over here, all right? So basically, my advice to you guys, if you're going for an A, B, A, A star, any sort of those higher grades, right? Focus most of your time up here, okay? It's gonna be, majority of the paper is gonna be year 13 organics with some year 13 rate equations and amount of substance, okay? That pretty much sums up paper two. You got the required practicals as well, which we'll take a look at in the prediction side of things, um, but that pretty much sums it up, right? So you wanna start at the top, start all the way at the top and work your way down here, okay? A lot of these lower topics, so you got like aldehydes, ketones, alcohols, alkenes, alkanes, halogenoalkanes, the, the year 12 organic stuff, this can have standalone questions, right? But it often also feeds into organic synth. So some of these organic synthesis questions have been related to these topics, all right? Um, but obviously organic synthesis relies a lot also on amines, um, carboxylic acids, aromatics, stuff like that, okay? So that is kind of what I would do if I was in your shoes, sit in the exam on Monday, basically cram the hell out of these year 13 sort of topics up here and then work my way down. Okay, um, pretty simple stuff. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, I don't know if you need a screenshot, but if you do, there you go. Um, let's look at the predictions, okay? So what's gonna happen? Now, paper two is pretty hard to predict, right? Because there's, paper one is a lot less topics, all right? Paper two is topic heavy. Where's my pen gone? Let's bring it back. Okay, connection restored. Don't know what happened there. I think my Wi-Fi disconnected. Um, so let's look at what happened in paper one, 2025, the things that can potentially come up in paper two, as well as what happened last year, paper two, paper three. Okay. So let's think about what happened this year. As far as I know, I haven't actually seen the paper, but my students told me born harbor cycles were absent. All right. Which is a weird one because born harbor cycles are normally present in paper one, right? Pretty much copy paste every year. You get, you get a born harbor cycle to to attempt. Now these are normally only like maybe three, four marks, I'm thinking at the most, you know, complete the Bon Harbor, maybe do a lattice enthalpy or some sort of enthalpy calculation associated with it. So I'm thinking if they didn't do that this year, they may test your 
cycle knowledge and cycle ability with energetics okay because energetics can come up in paper two but thermodynamics cannot come up in paper two all right so i'm thinking maybe a cheeky hess cycle but again i don't know if that's the case okay i'm just thinking if born harbor cycles were absent maybe they will get you to do a hess cycle okay but then you've also got all the energetic stuff that can come up that potentially didn't come up in paper one so i think maybe be a mean bond enthropy came up in paper one this year if i'm wrong about that just ignore me, but I'm, that's kind of what I remember my students saying and some comments saying. So you could also revise combustion and formation enthalpy, or the calculations, the calorimetry experiments, stuff like that. All right. But that being said, there was a decent amount of energetics paper too last year. So I don't know if it'll be super high. Okay. Moving on, we've got amount of substance, right? So as far as I know, ideal gas was pretty absent or completely absent from paper one 2025 and it was also pretty absent last year as well okay so you got the ideal gas equation which is a an easy year 12 one but they, they apply it to year 13 papers as well and then we've got organic calculation so i'm almost certain some sort of organic calculation is going to come up so for example a percentage by mass or any other amount of substance calculation associated with an organic reaction like i said earlier in the video okay so brush up on your amount of substance technique your calculation technique. This can also be applied to paper three. So yeah, get that in the bag and you should be completely fine. Interesting, super interesting to me was that KP was absent from paper one, 2025. This took me by surprise because it had come up every single year, but AQA is on a mad one this year. So it ultimately doesn't surprise me with all the other um, subjects that we've seen AQA just go weird on this year. So I'm thinking, considering KP was absent, they're going to pour a lot of that equilibria shifting sort of Le Chatelier principle stuff into KC okay but remember KP itself cannot come up in paper two so you're safe KP is probably not likely to come up in paper three section a but it could come up for quite a few MCQs if they want okay but my thinking for paper two 2025 is that KC is going to come up you know you've got the classic ice tables all that stuff right how equilibrium shifts, maybe even some stuff about industry and how you want to have optimum temperature and pressure for industry. But normally that's a paper one question. But considering KP was absent entirely, I would be super, super surprised if they ignore equilibria as a whole, because it is quite an important concept in, in A-level chem, right? So I'm thinking KC, carbocylic acids is our next juicy topic right so this come up this came up for an absolute ton of marks last year in, in paper two and paper three combined as far as i remember right but there was a few things that were absent okay so one thing that was absent was ester hydrolysis as far as i could tell from paper two and three 2024 so that includes basic and acidic hydrolysis so brush up on that shizzle then we have acyl chloride acid and hydride reactions so you've got the reactions themselves like the equations and stuff like that the observations and you got the nucleophilic addition elimination with the with the acyl chlorides. Okay, that was absent last year, so I'd be brushing up on that if I was you guys. Fats, soaps, biodiesel was absent last year, so I'd sort of normally when it does come up, it's not that many marks, so it's not like super high yield or anything. But you'd be able to just probably snag yourself three, four marks, and maybe the amount of substance calc would even be associated with these. Okay, so brush up on that. Glycerol, all that stuff you got to know for this part of the topic. Then there's the pure organic liquid side of required practical 10. So rush up on required practical 10, but last year leaned heavily. When I say heavily, I mean heavily. You guys, maybe if you're recent in the paper, you've probably got PTSD from this last year of how many marks there were on aspirin and pure organic solid and testing for purity. All right. So they're going to lean. I think they're not going to leave carboxylic acid practical out. It's going to be either in paper two or paper three, and they're going to lean into the liquid side of things. That's my thinking. But who knows at the end of the day, right? Then we have aromatics. So aromatics was present, pretty much present every year, to be honest. Last year, we had a question on stability. And there was a mechanism, electrophilic sub, for nitration. But there was no friedel Krauss isolation. Okay? So potentially, this year, if they lean into aromatics a bit, it could either be in an organic synthesis sort of question. Or they could ask you about friedel Krauss isolation. Okay? Um, that's my thinking there. Considering there's a five marker on stability with the enthalpy of hydrogenation, I do not think that they're going to ask that question again. Okay, so revise aromatics, revise Friedel Crafts. Of course, there's a potential for nitration to come up again as well, and also potentially the reduction of benzene 
um, the reduction of the nitrate of benzene, I mean. Okay, so brush up on that, you should be all good. And then we're going to jump into amino acids, proteins, and DNA. This was completely absent, I think, from paper two and paper three. Um, we'll look at that more when I look at the trends over the years, but I'd say go for this one. Okay, guys, be brushing up on this um, because it got barely any marks, if any marks last year. I can't, can't quite remember. So brush up on your amino acids. DNA is never like super big anyway, um, but brush up on that from the past papers and the proteins. Okay, primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary, all the bonds, disulfide, bridges, all that stuff, right? Brush up on that. Next up is polymers. So polymers was absent last year as well. So I'm assuming that they're going to delve into polymers a little bit this year. Um, it's really hard to say again because there's so many topics in paper too. But if you see polymers is not a high yield topic anyway. So a lot of these ones like polymers, chromatography, amino acids, all these bottom ones down here, they're not actually that many marks, right? So even though I say they're probably going to come up, you're going to get a handful of marks for each of these, okay? So go over polymers, go over chromatography as well, okay? Chromatography, TLC, also plays a part in amino acids topic, okay? But chromatography also has the other things associated with it, um, other types of chromatography, I should say, right? So revise all this. But a lot of these ones down here are probably going to be lower yield, right? Then from there, we have all the year 12 organics, like I said earlier. Alcohols, alkenes, aldehydes, ketones, and halogenoalkanes or haloalkanes. These are probably going to come up because they were largely absent last year. Okay, we'll look at the trends in a sec. Well, I personally, if I was you guys, I would be revising these. All the super basic year 12 stuff, all the mechanisms, isomerism, EZ, you know, all that sort of stuff. I would be revising it. Okay, observational tests, stuff like that. All right, so that was all the stuff that was absent last year um, or was low marks in uh, paper one 2025. Stuff that is likely to come up. So rate equations, as we can see, is the heaviest hitter, okay? That is what you wanna be going through. Even if it came up last year, the year before, the year before that, this is what you wanna be going through. Okay, you will wanna go be going through all the typical rate equation stuff, the graphs, you know, the concentration time graphs the Arrhenius graph and the Arrhenius calculations, orders of reactants, rate determining step, like all the typical rate equation stuff, okay? That is what you wanna be going through. You also have the required practical, so we'll look at these in a sec, but you got required practical three and required practical seven for rate equations and kinetics, okay? Year 13 organics, obviously it's gonna be huge for this year, regardless of what came up last year. So your carboxylic acids, amines, aromatics, like all the typical year 13 stuff, NMR and infrared comes up every year, basically. So NMR is all the way up here at the fourth highest topic, right? So you want to be revising that. You've also got all organic analysis, which incorporates infrared. Okay, so make sure you're revising that stuff, doing your little problem solving questions and stuff like that. And then, as I've already mentioned, organic synthesis can involve all the year 12 stuff, all the year 13 organics, all right? So this comes up every year as well, pretty much. All right, so that is my thinking for predictions for this year. Um, we'll look at the trends in a sec. Then there's the required practicals. Don't sleep on the required practicals because they can definitely come up in paper two. Um, then they can also, of course, come up in paper three. So you've got the energetics required practical, measurement of an enthalpy change. So the calorimetry stuff, Q equals MC delta T. This came up last year in paper two, okay? So they may not show it that much in paper two this year, or they may shift it to the thermodynamic side of things, enthalpy of solutions, stuff like that, and push it into paper three. Um, we'll take a look at the trends in a second across the years. Next up is rate equations and the kinetics, like I mentioned. So required practical three is investigation of how the rate of a reaction changes with temp and required practical seven is two different practicals. Okay, you have an initial rate method in order to measure the rate of reaction and you have a continuous monitoring method. Okay, so go over these two and you should be completely fine. Alcohols required practical five has been absent for quite a few years. So I would personally be revising this myself. Distillation of a product from a reaction, I'd be doing that. Organic analysis is required practical six. So this is a really easy one. I think this may have even come up last year. It's just tests for alcohol, aldehyde, alkene, and carboxylic acids. So all the observational tests, the test tube tests for um, the year 12 organic substances. Okay, really easy stuff there. Or well, I guess you've got carboxylic acids as well. And then you've got required practical 10 for carboxylic acids, which I mentioned was present last year. A lot of marks in paper three, pure organic solid, okay? And a test of its purity. That came up a ton last year. So if they do lean into the carboxylic acids practical, I am pretty confident they would shift to the organic liquid side of things rather than the organic solid, right? That's what I was thinking there. 
And you got required practical 12, which is pretty rare, but it can definitely come up, which is just TLC. Okay, so do your revision of TLC and you'll be completely fine. Right. All that out of the way, let's look at the trends, okay? Juicy, cheeky trends, okay? So this is paper two. So this topic, uh, this table right here is paper two. And then this is all the papers, okay? So we can kind of compare what's going on. Now, let's see what was low in 2024. Rate equations dipped in paper two last year. However, it peaked like crazy in paper, <laughs> in paper three and paper two collectively. So paper three went mad last year for rate equations. So I expect rate equations to go down overall. That does not mean I think it will go down to low marks. I still think it's going to be one of the highest topics present. But AQA has been having a mad one this exam season. So I honestly don't know. But that's my thinking. I'd be revising rate equations 100% if I was you guys. Um, and I guess a little bit of the basic kinetics, like successful collisions, Boltzmann distribution, uh, or Maxwell Boltzmann distribution, all that stuff. But mainly lean into the rate equations, guys, I'm telling you. Okay, next up, amount of substance. So amount of substance received a lot of marks last, uh, wait, 2024. Received a lot of marks last year, but it receives a lot of marks every year, like 25 and a half marks on average. So I'd be revising amount of substance stuff regardless of what happens, okay? Because this is going to come up. All right, next up, carboxylic acids. So we received a decent amount of marks for carboxylic acids last year, remember? I said we had, oh, actually, a, a big chunky amount of marks here, 36 marks which is actually the highest marks we've got so far. So if they don't lean into the acyl chloride, nucleophilic addition elimination, ester hydrolysis, biodiesels, all that stuff, as well as the pure organic liquid preparation, um, then they may just drop the marks quite a bit and lean into some of the year 12 topics. Because if we look down here at the year 12 topics, where are they? We've got aldehydes, ketones, alcohols, and we've got some of these, right? If we look at last year, tons of zeros, okay? So my thinking is they may drop some of the year 13 carboxylic acids a little bit. Um, I still am almost certain that carboxylic acids will be present. I just don't know if it will make up a huge chunk of the paper like it did last year. So I think aldehydes, ketones, alcohols, alkenes, alkanes, halogenoalkanes, I think these are going to come up for a fair amount of marks. You know, it could be five marks, four marks each, but I think they're going to come up even if they just come up within an organic synthesis question. Okay, so I'd be brushing up on my year 12 stuff, which you kind of do anyway when you revise organic synthesis. Okay, so that's my thinking there. Polymers, no marks last year um, in paper two. Chromatography, no marks. So I'd revise in these two a little bit, you know. I think that polymers and amino acids, proteins, and DNA is going to come up this year because amino acids, proteins, and DNA was completely absent in 2024 paper two. Although if we look at paper three, it was present for a couple marks. So I actually think this guy is going to come up this year. Um, so I'd be revising that if I was you guys. Let's see what Polymers was saying. So Polymers came up for three marks. It doesn't really come up for many marks anyway. So there's a chance that it just comes up in the MCQs or something. But I'd be revising it regardless. Okay. But again, spend most of your time up here, guys. Okay. Spend most of your time up in the higher yield year 13 topics. Um, have I missed anything here? NMR, obviously a given, guys. Revise NMR. It's a hard topic, okay? Don't sleep on it, though. It sucks up a ton of time in the exams. So I always advise people leaving it till the end rather than actually trying to tackle it because you can have a three-mark question that can take you 10 minutes or something like that just because of how, how complicated and time-consuming the structure-based questions are where you have to derive the structure of something if you haven't put the time in to revise it properly. So that can be a huge time sink in the exam. Organic synths, obviously, I've already mentioned revise the map. KC, I think, is going to come up for a decent, chunky amount of marks this year just because KP was absent from paper one. And then from there, I'm pretty much just repeating myself, right? So actually, or aromatics was, was a fairly high amount of marks last year. So I think this might go down a little bit. All right, but I pretty much think I've said everything I can say. If you have any questions, in, uh, just let me know down below, right, in the comments, and I'll try my best to get back to you. Um, but yeah, good luck for Monday, guys. Peace.